Afternoon, brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It is Friday, the 29th of April. It is uh, 25 minutes to 4 p.m. And um, the Lord has been doing wonderful things. He's been adding to the ministry and He's sending people in my path that we may grow and teach the love of Christ. And I actually came from a soup kitchen and I delivered another batch of, of bread and food unto the homeless and the hungry. I just want to uh, continue on this underworld teaching and um, uh, we ended off the last teaching as a continuation because it's such a large, long teaching. Uh, Ten minutes cannot cover what the Lord has revealed to me. So I have to do it a couple of videos just to bring clarity on what the Lord, that miracle through the heavens, how the Lord showed me what 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 is to come in the and the lesson that this teaching where it comes from he this is divine inspiration because i explained to you there was four elements in the sky there was a moon there was a band of star band of stardust moving fast i've never seen anything like it and i saw two stars and usually when i see a moon with a band of dust stardust i see the moon in the center like a dartboard and the moon is usually in the center and there's a ring, they call it the ring around the moon. But I've never seen the, uh, 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 the moon outside of a ring. And this is, what, this is divine inspiration, divine intervention. And it was a cosmic dance. So what happened was, um, I'm going to go quickly through it. So the moon represented Jesus on the cross. He descends into the earth now what happened when he descended he had to deal with hell he had to deal with everyone before this moment in luke when he was on the cross before that moment remember that jesus uh we the only way we can enter heaven is when we cleanse with the blood of jesus and he purges our sin that mankind is born with so we had to go to uh, the good ones the godly living ones had to go somewhere so they had a place to go to that was beside Al. It was called Abram's bosom. And you could see, you can see across to Al. And vice versa, they can see. So those that are, that are in torment can see um, Abram's bosom. Now when Jesus went down, he went to empty out Abram's bosom. And that, the saints that were lying, that were in Abram's bosom, so then we got hell and we have a, a, a like a, it's called the great girl fixed. So that is in the center between hell and Abram's bosom. And that is paradise. Abram's bosom is paradise. So paradise is relocated upwards to heaven. So what this means is that everyone before in the Old Testament, they were taken. That's why Jesus went down to preach the gospel to them and to set them free so that they can dwell in the land of the living. Now that is when the second star went above the horizon. And the two stars were both together. So the one star that was above the horizon represented the living. And those that were, the second star was Abram's bosom, those of them. So they went to join the land of the living for three days. For three days Jesus was down there. Right? He must disappear out of the, out of the, um, the cave, out of the tomb. So that's what he did. And he went to set the captives free. And he went to preach the gospel in Abram's bosom, which is down. And hell is beside it. And there's a great gulf fixed between it. Right? And that you'll find, that I just read in Luke 16. Right. So when he, it says here that when he emptied Abram's bosom, Isaiah 5 verse 14. Now wait, I'm going to go to uh, uh, 1 Peter 4 verse 6. For this cause was the gospel preached also to them that are dead. There, that is the second star. That they might be judged according to the men in the flesh, but live according to God in the spirit. And it says, Ephesians 4 verse 9. Now that he ascended, what is, but what is it but that he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth? He that descended is the same also that ascended far above the heavens, that he might fill all things, fill all things, all prophecies. So, Isaiah 5 verse 14. 
Therefore, hell enlarged itself. So now Abram's bosom is emptied out and there's no need for it because now Jesus has relocated us to paradise, which is in heaven upwards, right? So now there's no need for Abram's bosom. So here it says in Isaiah the prophet before Jesus says, therefore hell hath enlarged herself. It means hell became bigger to make place for the coming cataclysm of uh, what's to come in Revelation. It's making place for all the billions of souls that haven't been, that haven't, that turned their back on God, living ungodly lives, and they need, hell needs a bigger prison. So therefore hell hath enlarged herself and opened her mouth without measure, and their glory and their multitude and their pomp, and he that rejoiceth shall descend into it, into it. Those living ungodly lives rejoicing and they turn their back on the Lord and they deny that there's a living God. That is their place. So brothers and sisters, I implore you to come to Jesus because there's been a place for the ungodly, a bigger and a bigger tormented place has been created. Two thousand, actually 1988 years ago. We'll, be, we'll try and be precise. They say 2,000 years ago. I say 1988 years ago. Okay. Therefore, and the graves were open and many bodies of the saints that slept arose. So now they are above the ground and they're walking among in the holy city among the living. And the living are saying, but isn't that so-and-so that died? There we go. They actually said that. So, you know, when, when paradise was relocated upwards, it, it says here, 23, Luke 23, verse 43, And Jesus said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Today thou shalt be with me in paradise. And that is heaven, the new paradise. From Abram's bosom is the old paradise, and now it's moved upwards. Brothers and sisters, this day when the Lord showed me this, I was amazed. Deuteronomy 32 verse 22 For fire is kindled in mine anger and shall burn unto the lowest hell and shall consume the earth with her increase and set on fire the foundations of the mountains. This is what the Lord told me. This is an example. This is volcanic explosion. Closest, closest lowest hell burns by the kindling of God's anger. The foundations of the mountains burn. Here are three descriptions that I know of that the Lord showed me. Descriptions of the different parts of hell we have. We have the lowest hell. We have the bottomless pit that's in Revelation 9, 11, that they speak there. So there has to be another hell above the lowest hell. That was a lot to unpack in such a short time. Just a reminder, Abel, Seth replaced Abel. Abel, the first blood shed on earth by evil, and all these men are still crying out. They are still crying out today into heaven. And when heaven hears a cries, heaven's windows open and you get hailstones, you get all kinds of natural disasters. That's what they call it. It is not. It is the heavens that have opened Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, for this living word. I just want to tell you a testimony how the Lord is working in my life. And really, I'm praying for, for sponsors to sponsor food for the local community. They are really, really in peril. They're hungry. As I arrived there to, to meet with, to have a meeting with a sister, she, uh, uh, she used to be a teacher at the local school. And now she's not working, so she's feeding these kids from a shack. And uh, my heart just opened as, as a, a, a vehicle arrived there with bread and the kids started queuing. And the kids, what she needs is the kids need bread in the morning to go to school. Because apparently this feeding scheme still uh, exists. I didn't know this, but the local school is still fed because I, 30, 40 years ago, I, I was fed out of this feeding scheme. And my heart just opened because I was one of them. And these kids are hungry, eh? And they, they, you know you can't learn on an empty stomach. But the Lord has opened the door for me. And I really, really want to implore you guys just to get in contact with me. That's my email is jesus20ministries at gmail.com. 
just so that we can get into contact and you can help enlarge the kingdom of God and spread the gospel. In Jesus' name.